Hey there YouTube, Doc here. This is a video response to Lamb Dog's um, vaccine video. Um, in essence, I agree with you uh, with, with much of what you're saying. There are a few points that I disagree with. Uh, one of them, you were kind of um, drawing a comparison between being forcibly vaccinated in the military and uh, doing the same thing, I guess, to the public at large. Uh, you, you called it, if you want this job, well, existence isn't a job. Citizenship isn't a job. You might make a case for it that it should be a job, but it isn't. We don't get paid for our citizenship. Um, we don't get fringe benefits either, really. Um, you might make an argument that there are fringe benefits from citizenship. I would say they're earned benefits, but that's just me. Um, the other thing, you were talking about um, Shigella, and I thought this was a really interesting uh, thing you were talking about. Um, what you're talking about in the case of, say, a flu vaccine is prohibiting a healthy person from participating in public life on the off chance or maybe even a good chance that they could become infected. That's a lot different than a person with Shigella who is actively infected and has diarrhea and can infect other people quite easily. Um, and I'm not sure how easy it is. You know, I used to know this stuff. I'm a microbiologist um, from way back. I haven't been involved in microbiology or biochemistry for probably 20 some years. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, Shigella is a contact um, bacteria. I think it requires ingestion, which means, you know, if people washed their hands after pooping, um, chances are it wouldn't be spread quite so easily. Now, obviously, that's not quite true because it's very difficult to wash your hands after using a toilet without touching surfaces before getting your hands sanitized. Um, regardless, the point is you don't take a healthy person and quarantine them. Uh, you, you only do that to people who are actually sick. So I, I think you're wrong in that. Um, I understand why you're saying it because, you know, the, the idea is to protect people, but, um, I don't think that outweighs a person's individual rights. I really don't in this case. They're not actively sick. If they were actively sick, chuck them in a sanitarium. Fine with me. I'd probably want to be in one anyway, getting medical treatment. Um, the other, I'm sorry, I don't keep thoughts in my cranium well, so I've got a bunch of sticky pad notes all over the place. Um, one other thing I thought was, um, might have been improved on in your video is you make mention of all of the people who are vocal opponents of vaccination uh, essentially are no longer qualified to make those statements. I mean, that's in essence what you said. And I would feel a lot better if you gave examples because right now I'm just trusting what you say. I haven't read up on this. Um, you know, I've been exposed to this because I have a cousin whose child is autistic and they are absolutely convinced that it was the vaccination that did this because the autism, there was no autism until very, very shortly after the vaccination. Could it be a coincidence? Yes, it could be. Um, is it? I don't know. Um, there are some funky things in vaccinations, uh, byproducts from the process of making the vaccine. Uh, yeah, they're pretty low levels, but you know, who knows what the odds are for something happening because of those uh, components that are in there that are toxic at very low levels. Um, I refuse to take the flu vaccine this year. I, I, my, 
there are two, my doctor and a nurse that is working with me, a kind of a health coach, they're both harassing me to get the shot. And I said, I'm not getting one. I had one last year. The day after I got the shot, I had incredible vertigo. It felt like somebody literally lifted me. This is funny. I was on the toilet. It felt like somebody lifted me up and threw me to the floor. That is how violent that reaction was. I don't know if it was a reaction to the vaccine. It could be coincidental. All I know is I was sick for the rest of the day with severe vertigo, dry heaves. I mean, it was just not a pretty sight. I don't want to take a chance of going through that again because... It was just luck that I wasn't driving my kids to school. If it is the vaccine that I'm reacting to, and it happens again, um, I could be responsible for the death of my children, some other innocent person. Uh, I'm not willing to take that risk. Uh, and I'm being assured by my doctor and the nurse that that just cannot happen. So likely it is a coincidence. I'm still not going to take the risk. Um, until I'm quite a bit older and my immune system is not doing well, I'm going to take the chance on the flu not, not being as bad as the vaccine. Um, the other thing, and this kind of goes with that, um, if people voluntarily get a vaccination, they're immunized. I mean, that's what it's for. So to say that a person who is not immunized is a public hazard is incorrect. They have just simply made a different choice. People that wanted the vaccine got it and have immunity. Those who didn't want it don't have immunity and they have willingly taken the chance that they could get sick and die. That's the way I look at it. Now, I guess my question would be, does this flu shot or whatever, the vaccination, which we are kind of speaking of in general, because um, nobody ever really mentioned, to my knowledge, what the vaccine actually was. But um, <sighs> lost my train of thought, probably won't come choo-chooing back to me anytime soon. So um, I guess that's all I really have to say about that is that you know, if I choose not to get that vaccination, but you do, I am not causing you any harm. The only people I'm causing harm are the people um, who were supposedly too ignorant to get the shot. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs>